Lily, are you grazing? All right, hey, so I'm just, uh, I'm here in town at our house. I'm just kind of doing the rounds uh, around the yard and garden. And Matilda's over there soaking up the sun and Lillian is down here sniffling around and seeing what's what. I just wanted to share with you a quick story because um, uh, I think it kind of uh, speaks a little bit about what we want to do with the uh, orchard uh, that we're going to put in out at the farm. Um, we had a friend stay with us over the weekend. Um, she got snowed in here and uh, it was great to uh, have a house guest. Uh, that way at least had company while I was uh, traveling um, at the orchard restoration workshop up in Northern Virginia. And um, anyhow, I was back in town Sunday night and we were chit-chatting Monday morning and she was talking, we are talking about fruit trees, obviously, and how excited I was to be putting in the orchard. And she said, well, if you ever come across this, uh, this variety, uh, it's called a transparent. And I said, oh, yellow transparent? Yeah, of course, it's a, it's a Russian cultivar. We've got that, we've got one planted in our yard here in town. And uh, I've got at least one or two in pots uh, over in the nursery. And we're definitely gonna add it to uh, the profile of the orchard. And she was so excited because she said, uh, I never see that apple available commercially. Uh, I never see it, you know, on grocery, in the grocery store. And I never see it for sale at like a big box store as a tree. But that is the tree that uh, I and my grandmother uh, used to make applesauce every year. It was like our summer routine. It was our ritual. Um, she said that uh, the yellow transparent produced a really tart early summer apple. Um, but it made for this amazing, uh, absolutely amazing, uh, tangy applesauce that she would make with her family. And it was such a, a special memory for her. And she was just excited to know that, uh, A, that I knew of that tree, I'd heard of it, um, and kind of blown away that I was growing it, and even more excited that we were gonna feature it in the orchard. And I just think that that's uh, very much the kind of experience that we want to have. We're gonna plant uh, just so many different varieties of apple, pear, plum, uh, peach, pluot, uh, different muscadine varieties, persimmons, different nut trees. Um, the idea is that uh, as, a, as a customer, as a member of our uh, orchard club, you could come uh, at different times of the year for different events with your family. Um, you don't have to grow uh, 20 different varieties of uh, apple tree in your yard. We're going to be growing 40, 50, 60, maybe 100 different varieties of uh, just apple trees alone at the orchard. And we'll let you know when they are in season and you can come with your family and pick uh, the mix that you want that'll make your own family special, unique mix of, of apples and applesauce. So maybe y'all's mix is uh, uh, Early Joe, Aunt Rachel, and Shenango Strawberry. Those are all early uh, summer saucing apples and maybe all of those mixed together make something fantastic that you and your family loves but um, I just wanted to share that with you because that's in my head a very clear vision of uh, the kind of thing that we'd like to have at the orchard um, and if that's the kind of thing that you would like to have uh, locally uh, or to see modeled for other farms in your area uh, please keep a look out for our barn raiser campaign that'll be coming up later this month we're gonna uh, do some crowdfunding uh, to get this orchard uh, kick-started so all right I've got work to do I'm gonna keep playing with the girls and checking out the trees and uh, hoping that they don't wake up too much with this crazy January weather it's like 60 today all right have a great day